Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a uh, first in a big series of videos where we are going to look at this week at the settings, all the settings that's in the famous all settings panel here. We'll take a look not only at each category that you see here, we'll take a look at each uh, setting inside these categories. Uh, I think having a good knowledge of where things are of the settings, what these settings mean. Often settings are there, what does it mean? I don't understand what it says. So we'll try to have a simplest form possible of explanation of every setting in the settings panel. Now this first video is about one feature that's extremely important in the settings panel. Uh, what's cool in the settings panel is that you don't have necessarily to know what, uh, where is a setting, where its location, in what category. It's not always easy to know what category a certain setting is about or where it is. But if you actually know what name or at least part of what you're trying to do, what's cool in the settings is you can actually search for one. For example, maybe you're thinking, oh my screen resolution isn't right. Well. If you don't know what's the resolution, you can just type screen, for example. Here you'll have display settings, lock screen settings, projector second screen, start settings, anything that has possibility of having a setting about the screen. Uh, if you know it's the screen resolution, you can be a little more precise, say resolution. And here it's going to go back to the display setting. But look here, change the screen resolution. Brings brings you to this, the correct setting directly. You don't have to, uh, you know, uh, search for it uh, by going through each category because you don't know where it is exactly. Uh, is it part of personalization? Is it part of system? It could be, you know, you can want to personalize your resolution but you can have system for the system settings also. It's, it's not always easy and at least when you search for it, it can make things much much easier. In Windows 8 also, if you use Windows 8, uh, remember that there's a little um, magnifying glass on the upper right corner to search for things and you can search for settings also in Windows 8.1. This is not unique to Windows 10 but in Windows 10 they did improve upon it. So depending on what you want to find, maybe you're saying hey if something wrong is with the, is wrong with the language in my computer. Just type language and check out what you have and you have here region and language settings, add a language to this device, so choose if websites can use your language list, edit language and keyboard options and so on. This is one of the basic things you need to know about the settings, searching for it. In order to do a good search also, one of the basic knowledge that you need to have is the proper wording. It's not always easy, you know, but sometimes having the correct term for a search setting of course will improve a lot uh, upon it. You got some problems with your webcam, for example, you just type webcam and check out what there is. It's here it says camera privacy setting. Maybe that's the problem. But it also will bring you to not only these settings. Here, for example, it says device manager. Why? Because maybe your webcam has a problem or your camera has a problem in the device manager. Maybe you need to update device drivers. So it's extremely nice. It brings you everywhere and if a setting isn't in the settings panel, It'll bring you to the correct setting in the control panel. So learn how to use this efficiently. It will help you a lot and make you can, your computer experience better. Uh, so that's the first thing. And of course, we'll take a look at each setting, what it means and um, what it means if you change it or anything. And also a little bit of tips and tricks on if you do something bad and you're not sure how to go back, I'll give you a little details on things that you can do to uh, kind of safeguard the settings so that you can go back if you ever change something and you don't know what you did. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And hopefully, you enjoy our videos.